Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at one of my favourite areas of loop tree, the beat repeat. Okay, so the beat repeat is this area here, and what it allows you to do is select some tracks, tap the beat repeat button, and load them into the beat repeat. Now when you load the tracks in, it applies the volume and pan. So if I hard pan left or right, that's what happens in the beat repeat. And it applies the volume as well, and the reason for that is so that you could have the track playing here, and then you can seamlessly jump to the beat repeat by muting the track and starting the beat repeat at full volume. So there's no jump in volume because uh, this volume pan has been applied when it gets loaded. So let's just move that back up to the center. As you maybe saw, when I touch in the top half, the loop starts playing forwards. In the bottom half, the loop starts playing backwards and it starts playing from wherever I touch. So the shorter your loop is, the more uh, accuracy you can have if you're just doing it visually. You've also got control of the volume of the loop and up at the top here is full volume playing forwards and then you fade through zero in the center and go down to full volume playing backwards at the bottom. And uh, once you've got the volume and the position you can also change the loop length and as you drag away from your starting point it keeps halving in length. down to its uh, minimum length there. So as you saw earlier, you can record the beat repeat into a new track, and this is determined by the record source here. You can switch either the beat repeat and the microphone on or off. So uh, if you put the beat repeat off, you can record the microphone and use the beat repeat and it won't be recorded, and uh, vice versa, if you have the microphone off, you can record the beat repeat and you can use the microphone at the same time and it won't be recorded. So that gives you the ability to record and um, one little trick there is that if you do just want to reverse a track, you can play the, play the original track and with length quantize on, um, select your original track and an empty, start your reverse loop going and then just hit rec. So it's recorded a reversed version of my loop. And because I didn't have the microphone disabled, it's also got my voice saying ek at the start. You hear there. In addition to just recording the track, you can use it in combination with the filter here. And you've got the choice of whether the filter applies to the beat repeat, the tracks, or the microphone input. So uh, if I, at the moment it's applied to the tracks and the beat repeat, but if I just applied it to the beat repeat and say pick a high pass filter, then I can have the tracks playing and I can use it to sort of fade in and out the filter using high pass or low pass and so on. So the last thing I'd like to show you is um, the, the session controls up here. So if I've got my loops playing down here, pause pauses them and restart restarts them from the beginning. Now the beat repeat is independent of these two pause and restart controls. So you can start something going in the beat repeat and then use restart to bring in the tracks at the right moment. So you could do this. So there I used a filter as well, and then when I felt it was the right moment, I released the restart button, and that started those two loops going. So that's just a few of the things you can do with the beat repeat. I hope you have fun with that, and keep an eye out for our other tutorial videos. Bye for now.